Hi everybody. Uh, I'm going to do this quick little tutorial on leaves. Um, it's not my favorite thing, but we could all learn a little bit about it. So uh, I'm going to show you just a couple little strokes. If, if I could do the slider leaves for all of my leaves, that's what I would do. So here goes. This would be the slider leaves right here. Do it from the side, just like this. Press down, turn, lift up. Press, it, press down, pull, twist, lift up. This won't be a long video. Press down. Twist. Lift up. Press your brush down. Twist. And lift up and pull. And that's your slider leaves. Okay. Now, I can turn it up this way, whichever direction you need to go. I mean, you, you would do the same thing. Press down, pull, and twist up. Press down, pull, lift, lift it up. These, these are real easy to do. I don't mind doing these all day long in a picture, but sometimes you have to add something else in a... I like these best. <laughs> Press down, twist, lift. Press down. Lift. Do that one again. Press down, twist, lift up. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more for my uh, the floating medium that I told you all about. Now, when you're just practicing, you can add water um, to to thin out your paint some. So it, you see, this is getting dry the paint, and you can add water. I, I like to use the floating medium when I'm painting a picture. It doesn't uh, mess with your paint. Water will. But if you just practice and use water, that's fine. Okay, so this also, the next, the next leaf is considered, it's just a, um, just a slider leaf. And you can just, if you can see what I'm doing, just hold it up. And just it's just a slider just put your brush down and you slide it put it down and slide it no just like that and then after you can come with your you know your little bit thin down green uh, thicket or whatever green you're using or whatever color and you know you and you can do that on your leaves okay these stems here, these are nice to put behind behind flowers. Um, they, they're nice, it'll fill in the background. And when you do these, you wanna do, do them in groups of odd numbers. You don't wanna do four like I did here. You wanna always add another one. Just slide. You don't wanna have two, four, 
and just slide your brush up. Keep them in a keep them in a nice little group like that. And then you can always add your slider leaves to it. And then add those in a knot number. Add your slider leaves like that. And and then you can add your flowers to it. So there's your leaves. These are your slider stems. Just twist your brush. Lead up with your two colors, your green, your lot yellow, or your green and your white, whatever whatever you want to use. Twist, just twist your brush, see? That's all you have to do. Just try it. Just twist. Twist your brush. Keep them, keep them in a group down here. Keep them in a group. Keep them in different height, heights, you know, not all the same. And then add your little slider leaves. That'll make a nice background. Here are the leaves that I don't like. <laughs> but these leaves you add for roses or chrysanthemums or, you know, flowers that that they call for. I don't know. I don't particularly like them, but okay. We'll learn how to make them. Okay, so your heart flower, I mean your heart leaf, I'm sorry. This is like a good little uh, diagram to follow. So you would start like this and we're going to you know, like we did the chisel stroke earlier. We did the, I mean, I'm sorry, the, the shell stroke. That's about what we're going to do here. It's going to be like a, like a shell stroke. We're going to do this. And after the shell, we're going to come down like that. So we do the shell and bring it to a point. And we're going to do it on the other side. So here's our little diagram here. And we're going to do the shell right here. And see the shell stops here? Another shell stroke. We wiggled. And now we're going to twist it and come here. And that's the tricky part, to get that to match. Okay? And you can come up with this brush and make your deal like that. Okay. That's, that's the heart shape. Leaf. So you can do this and then make two of these. So. We're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make the, the shell, shell strip. I'm gonna wiggle and then I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna wiggle like I'm making a shell stroke. I'm gonna twist my brush and I'm gonna come down. I like to make this with my, with this here because it usually makes a finer line. Alright, that's your heart shape leaf. This is another leaf like the heart shape, but it's not it it's it's small, it's thinner. But okay, let me show you. You take it and you still wiggle it, but instead of going out this way in a heart shape, it's gonna we're gonna wiggle. But it's gonna just be a narrow see how that goes and it's going to go like this and it does fine like that too it just it's a different shape and, and to make the to make the dark thing you lead off with the darker green at the bottom and that's going to give you your pull of you of the vein into your leaf Okay, I'm going to make another one of those. 
So we're going to do the yellow on the outside. See how I did this one up here? We made it. This here would make the shell going like that to start. And this one, and then we'll go two out here. And this one, we're going to make the it go down. The shell. Bottom. And this the shell. Bottom. My paint is dry. It starts dragging like that. You have to add your water or your, your thinner for it. So now you want to put the, your yellow paint at the bottom to, to come up to make it that vein in your leaf so you can see it. So these are your strokes. You have to practice them. These are very easy. I love these. <laughs> these are good. These to me are hard. But try, try to do your shell stroke. And that is to make these leaves here, your heart shape, do this. Just think about your shell stroke, which would be, here's your shell. So just think, that's your shell stroke. You can do it at the bottom too. Make your shell stroke here. Okay, there it is. So now you want to come down and go in a point. Here, you want to come down and go on a point. So, if that helps you remember a little bit better, then that's good. This one, you would just start this way. Instead of doing this way, see what I mean? Instead of going this way to make the heart, you would go this way. So here we go. And it would just come out thinner. A thinner leaf. And you'd put your yellow vein down that leaf. Okay, that's it for the leaves. Um, I like these. <laughs> I like to add my little slider leaf. But anyway, thanks for being here. I'm glad you are. I appreciate it. I had fun doing this. Y'all take care. Come again. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.